Hi, Karen here. So, your gymnast will peel off the bar if she's not prepared. Yes, you heard that right. I believe we'll have more gymnasts literally peeling off the bars in the first month back than ever before. Why? Because many gymnasts have not done any strength for their grip, their hands or forearms. They'll likely have only done shaping and core conditioning. How many have actually done conditioning for grip strength? I'd guess almost none of them. It's not something that's stressed after a gymnast has been doing giants on the bars for a long time. Hanging on the bar daily builds that strength. But most gymnasts do not have a bar at home to hang from. So please keep in mind that a gymnast's life is literally in her hands when she's swinging on those bars. If they peel off during a giant or any skill for that matter, they can cause serious injury or even death. Remember the tensile force on the hands, the forearms, and the rest of the body during giants can be several times their body weight. Will they come back to the gym to withstand that type of force? If they cannot hold heavy dumbbells without dropping them, or hang on the bar for 30 seconds to a minute and have not been doing grip strength exercises or hanging conditioning, they should not be doing giants the first week or even two weeks back in the gym. And being in the straps can, creates even more tensile force on their body because of the speed of the giants and circle skills while they're in the straps. Gymnasts can cause tears in the soft tissue of their shoulders and the rest of their upper body. So be really careful allowing them to do giants or even doing giants in the straps when they first get back. Please keep their safety in mind when asking them to perform these skills. Coaches must take the time to rebuild strength, power, flexibility, and even confidence before asking gymnasts to perform familiar skills, and then to learn new skills. Remember, each gymnast is individual. Some will take longer to regain what they may have lost, and others will come back well-conditioned and ready to perform many skills. Ask your gymnasts what they've been doing at home to stay in shape. Watch their energy levels and evaluate their strength the first week so that they progress at a steady and safe pace. Many will try to do too much too soon, and we will see overuse injuries, more than in previous years. If you're not careful with this training, we will see those overuse injuries. So good luck on the return to your gym. Please stay safe in so many, <laughs> I mean that on so many levels. Stay safe with your distancing. Stay safe with what you ask your gymnasts to do when they return. And of course, let me know how I can help you. You can check out my websites at karengohler.com, gymnasticsdrills.com, handstandbook.com, and bestgymnasticstraining.com. Good luck!